This video is for Sirenet. Sirenet is a tier four Patreon member, which means once per month they can pick any song they want to go up in the channel. We're doing Yoroshika, just a sunny day for you. I'm excited, let's go. All right, I don't know what's going on. I'm not familiar with the group, but looking down here, 186 million views. Obviously people love it, so I'm curious. I wanna see. Mm. We're coming with the cowbell. All, of it. All right, so the intro is already great. Uh, obviously, we set us up with clean tone on the voice, somewhat fuzzy on the guitar, but the, the important part is the, the motif, the rhythm. The rhythm we're getting here, though, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and that kind of just goes and supports the voice. Her, uh, I don't have the, the vocal vocabulary. It's like, I don't know, tightly knit um, vibrato, but we do have a really beautiful arpeggio that kind of goes up into head voice, so it's it's definitely catchy. I can see. I can see why. Yeah, just get your attention right away. So it's like we're opening the door to accessibility here, right? This rhythm, da, da, ja, da, ga, 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 ga. That's like home run, man. It's wide open. Everyone can understand that. We get a little a little noodling on the guitar, almost a little blues lick at the end there. So very cool. I, I, can, I can see why. It's like this is inviting everybody in. Here we go. Back fives. Keep going. Yeah, so we pretty much lift from before. We're getting the same thing, but now the bass player is kind of like playing in unison and, and uh, jamming out with the guitar. So we do get that layer just to push us a little forward, but very, very, very straightforward. Okay, really cool on the right side uh, ear pad here. We got some nice embellishments from... It gets a little more bluesy from the guitarist. I'm going to go back full 15 there because that was some pretty good playing, though. I really... It's like, it's tasty enough. It doesn't distract. We're not, you know, covering up the vocalist, but we're still giving the listener somewhere else just to listen down a little bit deeper. We had a little bit of chromaticism in there, almost giving us kind of a pseudo, like, dare I, dare I say it, almost a little bit of a country and western kind of like lick to it, but it's cool. I dig it. Okay, here we go. Next section. <laughs> Okay, cool. The uh, the chorus there was pretty fun. I want to get it one more time. I do like the uh, clap, clap, and then bop, uh, uh, rhythms at the end that kind of like obligatory stuff that we do in choruses, right? Uh, uh, on top of all the chords that we're playing. <laughs> Bop, bop. We got our two cowbells coming out of that. Just break it a little bit. We just we take away drums, a little bit of guitar work. We hit the cowbell and we're back in. Grab that one more time. It's 10 seconds back. There you go. 
go. So we're bringing this verse back again, but instead of doing it like we have done twice before, it's cool. Let the bass player just pull out for a little bit and then come in with some like, you know, not like overly busy licks, but play up in a higher register so it cuts above the guitar and, and kind of bring us down and bring us into the second side of that uh um that verse again. That was really cool. Uh let's go back 15 and grab that again. I think we have some drums. Boom, bra, bra, bra. Juba. It's that's why I say it has that like kind of country feel to it because we're just borrowing some elements of like song construction. Okay, before yeah i just got to give the guitar player lots of credit there because it's it's very very difficult to take something that subtle to be like hey we want you to like it's not a solo but we want you to feature a little bit but you can't cover up what's going on because everyone can't do this at once the moment that everyone started doing it then it's, it then becomes like way too muddy of a song and we lose we lose focus on the vocals and it, it obviously would not get 106 186 million views at that point because at that point when too many voices are doing things it's just not that fun to listen to Unless you're a musician, then you end up liking that stuff quite a bit. But I guess it depends on the kind of musician. Anyway, point being, the guitarist is very good because it's very, very tasty playing. So definitely appreciate it. Next section. Nice credential uh, resolution there. Even the small little thing like that, just four bars. Just give me something different in how you play in those chords. It sounds really great. We just alter and we get mainly guitar. <laughs> By the left side, gets a little more juice. That is amazing. I'm telling you, man, that, that's great design. We get a completely, so our bridge here, we have a different chord progression. It was really nice. Borderline, uh, just like, just flirting with elements of jazz here with the kind of voices we have in the guitar line. But we still have that like kind of Rocky Blues, country Western sound and guitar feature on there. And it's just, these musicians are very, very, very good. I'm going back 15 to grab this. I think 15 is enough. It's not. How about right here? <laughs> Sorry, I apologize. Stopping one more time. The panning, boo -doo -ch -doo -doo -ch -doo -doo. the panning between the headphones is really nice. It's not super quick. We're make on the live stream today on Twitch. There was a song we had with a bunch of panning on it. I seriously got so nauseous from it because it was just way too, way too much, way too fast. But this amount, it's like very, very calm. I promise. We're back one more time. Let's keep it going. <laughs> It's so good. But the thing is, is everyone's playing so well right there. Even if it's just boom, boom, open high hat, buzz roll in the snare drum, and then doom, doom, ga, doom, ga, ga. It's so simplistic and accessible. But what I'm trying to convey in a lot of these videos when we get musicians that play like this, that's actually so hard to do to play with that much taste. So I know I keep saying it. You're probably like, dude, you've already said it. But you have to talk about it, though, because it's just so good. Back five. We'll keep going. <laughs> Guitar line on the left side Yeah, 
I can 100% understand why that has so many views. I think my challenge for the viewers that come in this channel that you, maybe you're young songwriters, you're looking how like how, do, how does composition work? How do I build a song? I would set yourself a challenge, redo the song, pick a different key, you know, write some different lyrics, but emulate the styles that they go through and see if you can like, you know, play the, all the parts yourself or at least design them and do something similar. Try that like maybe five or six times, you know, and just like backwards, do like a backwards construction on that and then rebuild it back up. I think that would really help like as far as like what works. Obviously this works if the proof's in the pudding, right? The numbers are right there. And uh, while I don't necessarily on my own seek out this kind of music to listen to, um, I like, you know, this is, you know, it's very accessible. It's, it's a home run. I like things a little bit more, you know, nuts, but that doesn't matter, man. Like I can completely understand from a composition and arrangement side of why this is so successful. So that, that would be my advice for you. Hope you liked it. I did. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Sirenet, thank you so much for the Patreon request. My name is Drumroll Tony. Catch me when I'm live on Twitch. You can find the link to my socials down in the video description below. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Please and thank you. Click that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.